Hello, it's Charles Cherney, and in this video, I'd like to share with you the Lincoln Park neighborhood of Somerville, Massachusetts. And this neighborhood is found uh, between Inman Square, Union Square, and what is called Kirkland Village. So it's uh, seen here on the screen, and it's a triangle, if you will. So here is uh, Kirkland Village, where Kirkland Street meets Washington Street, and it's essentially the Cambridge Somerville line. So you have Cambridge to the west, and then as you go down Washington Street, you're in Somerville. So Washington Street to the north runs to uh, Union Square here. And uh, as you head down Prospect, this is the new Green Line T station serving Union Square. It's the Union Square T just opened in 2022. And you come down Prospect Street to uh, Inman Square here to the south. So it's a triangle, a wedge, if you will, that defines the Lincoln Park neighborhood. And it's not really a neighborhood uh, with a specific name, but I think Lincoln Park here seen in the middle of the neighborhood uh, is a great name to give to the neighborhood since Lincoln Park is found here and it's a, a large green space. So let's start by taking a look together at Lincoln Park, uh, the green space found in the neighborhood. It was renovated in 2018 and it enjoys uh, a mix of uses. So there are ball fields, playgrounds, a community garden, a skate park, uh, an off leash dog park, uh, a community garden. It's just a great green space that people enjoy in a variety of ways. And it really is a signature uh, of this neighborhood that I think of as the Lincoln Park neighborhood. Here's the community gardens. You can see a picnic table there as well. Lovely pathways. The renovation in 2018 really brought out the best uh, in the space overall. Here's a, a house overlooking the park that actually I am serving as the listing agent for more to follow on that house. So Lincoln Park is a great green space and uh, actually bordering on it is the Argenziano School. That's a mouthful. Pre-K through eight, uh, Somerville Public School with 600 students. So uh, nice that the city has a primary school uh, right next to this great green space, Lincoln Park. Go back to uh, the map here and uh, focus our attention here on Kirkland Village at the corner of Beacon Street and Kirkland Street. Uh, there are a number of nice uh, amenities here. The wine and cheese cask is a local institution with, as its name suggests, wine and cheese. They also have a, a, a deli counter with homemade sandwiches, which I'm fond of. Uh, just across the street is Dali Atapas Spanish restaurant. And just further down the street is Broadsheet Coffee next to Savinor's Market where Julia Child once shopped. And actually, as you go down Beacon along the side of the neighborhood here, there is a, a Whole Foods market as well. That used to be a Johnny's Food Master, but now is a Whole Foods. It's interesting, as you look at the map of the neighborhood, you'll notice that the streets do meander and it's not a perfect grid. In fact, you'll find if you explore this neighborhood, it's easy to get turned around and disorientated because of how the streets don't follow a particular pattern you know, here's Washington Street and you can see how Wyatt Street uh, runs along the side of the park and then ends up at Concord Avenue, which crosses through um, the neighborhood. Marion Street uh, begins here where DeMick meets Waldo and then it turns um, and comes up to Concord. You've got um, Oak Street starting in Inman Square that bends over to Prospect Street. So uh, there's just a whole mix of meandering streets. Here's Clark Street that starts off Newton and then bends around to uh, Lincoln Park. So it's 
it's a fun street to, or I'm sorry, a fun neighborhood to explore because the streets don't follow a particular pattern and um, it kind of gives the neighborhood character. Uh, and as I've said, it's easy to get turned around or uh, a little uh, disorientated until you learn the neighborhood from being in it and uh, finding your way around. So um, it's one of the elements of the neighborhood that uh, I think is kind of fun. If we just go back to uh, Lincoln Park here for a minute and you can see here's a skate park uh, playground. You know, this since the renovation in 2018 is a space that uh, has really become even more popular with all the activities, the ball fields, there's a basketball court, um, baseball field. People like to just sit out and picnic as well, uh, have all sorts of fun. Everyone's got their preference. The community gardens are nice. This is a water feature. You can see the school in the background there. There's something really invigorating about a playground that's enjoyed by the community. It's great to see the kids get out and enjoy it and have fun. So uh, Lincoln Park, can't say enough good things about it. So now we're looking uh, on the screen at Union Square and the colored areas define uh, the primary areas of urban redevelopment. There's some 2.3 million uh, square feet under uh, development and it's a billion dollar plus project. You can see on the screen where the new T station is on Prospect Street, now open, serving Boston. And uh, so this urban uh, renewal, gentrification, call it what you will, is ongoing and underway with a mix of all sorts of projects, uh, residential and commercial. And actually, even now, uh, in 2022, there is uh, already uh, a number of things uh, to be found in Union Square. So you can see some of the places in uh, Union Square on the map here where Somerville Avenue and Bow Street meet is the heart of Union Square. So in the heart of Union Square, even now as development is ongoing is Bow Market, uh, located off Somerville Avenue. It's a courtyard with uh, shops and restaurants. Uh, you can see here all the wonderful places you can find at Bow Market. And uh, it really is uh, an extraordinary uh, collection of places and people and things to do and enjoy. Uh, in the heart of Union Square and uh, courtyard dining, you know, all sorts of restaurants uh, and stores. It's a changing lineup and lots of good things found here. So you definitely would want to check out Bow Market if you're in Union Square. And it's, I think, representative of the neighborhood and how it's changing and uh, the vitality and pulse that define it. So also, uh, shaping this neighborhood is Inman Square to the south. And so if I zoom back, you can see there's Lincoln Park on the screen. And, you know, we were just up uh, in um, Kirkland Village here. We're Beacon and uh, Kirkland Street meet. And then you can see uh, Union Square here. And then the third point in the triangle is... Uh, Inman Square on the Cambridge Somerville line along uh, Cambridge Street. And, you know, you could think of Inman Square as a Cambridge neighborhood, but it's also very much a Somerville neighborhood serving the Somerville neighborhood of Lincoln Park. And there's just, uh, you know, so many things <laughs> here. There's Trina's Starlight Lounge. Uh, there's Parlor Sports. Um, Muna is a Eastern Mediterranean uh, restaurant Punjabi Daba is a takeaway Indian I'm fond of. Here's 1369 Coffee House. 
Uh, next to it is the Druid, an Irish pub. Uh, you know, and there's other things. Here's a uh, lily pad that does uh, live music and eclectic lineup. Next to it is a gatherer. Uh, here, makerspace, fabric and yarn store aficionados find their way here to make things. Um, Albertine Press is a print shop and press with beautiful uh, handmade hand uh, lettered press offerings. So, you know, look, Inman Square, it's a real resource for this neighborhood. There's a lot happening here. And uh, so here's an overview again of the whole neighborhood. So imagine having the luxury of living on one of these meandering streets with Lincoln Park and Kirkland Village and Union Square and Inman Square all at your doorstep. I mean, that's just fantastic. So I am the listing agent for an offering in the neighborhood on Marion Street seen here. It's an attached single family. Here's the front facade. And we're just inside the front door. It's a two bed bath and a half with 1150 square feet. Powder room just inside the front door. And this is the front hall. As you can see, as you come in, you have the eat-in kitchen to the right and the living room directly ahead of you. And this lovely living room has a slider out to a deck overlooking Lincoln Park. You can see here's a nice view of it. And then there's the uh, stairs up to the second floor. Larger eat-in kitchen with a pantry closet, stainless steel appliances. Opens nicely to the living room, lots of light. Upstairs, the primary bedroom overlooks Lincoln Park, which is grand. And then there's a full bath with shower tub and a second decent sized bedroom on the front. Big, spacious basement with real potential. You can see the laundry machines. It has seven foot, nine inch ceilings. Uh, and then this beautiful uh, deck overlooks Lincoln Park. In the distance there, you can see one of the new buildings going up in Union Square adjacent to the new T-Station on Prospect Street. So this is sort of the best of all worlds. You're adjacent to Lincoln Park with easy access to Union Square and Inman Square and Kirkland Village. Here's the parking for the residents to the right. It's ample for at least three cars. You could take a piece of this driveway and make your outdoor space in the back bigger. My name is Charles Cherney. And I'm a top residential real estate agent here to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price, be it in the Lincoln Park neighborhood of Somerville or any of the other neighborhoods of Somerville or neighboring Cambridge. Reach out at any time by text, telephone, or email. I look forward to connecting with you and being of service. Take care.